Welcome back to the Chick-fil-A Barn Bash on 100.9 The Farm. We are sold out tonight. I'm Kelly Green. If you're enjoying the show, please tell a friend or two about how much fun you're having so they can join you here for the next one on February 13th. We also encourage you to post any pictures or video you take tonight on your social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with the hashtag Barn Bash, and please share on our Facebook page as well. I don't mind telling you we've been trying to get this guy on our stage for quite a while. He's here tonight. We absolutely love his classic country sound, and so do his fans. During his first ever appearance at the Grand Ole Opry in June of 2014, he earned a well-deserved standing ovation after singing his song Clean Up on Aisle 5. He's gone on to release two terrific singles, Country and A Boy and a Girl Thing, and we hope to hear his full-length album sometime in 2016. He played the Ryman last night. He'll play the Ryman tomorrow night, but he's all ours tonight at the Chick-fil-A Barn Bash. Please welcome Mo Pitney. Thank you, y'all. Well, I love the crowds, love the towns, love the way my life's gone down, the way it has. Get to sing and chase my dreams But like they say With all good things There's strings attached Don't get me wrong My life's a song You know me I belong Girl, where you are But from time to time it feels like I'm trapped and somehow stuck behind this guitar Behind this guitar It's just a boy who had a dream in his heart Behind this guitar It's just a guy who can't believe he got this far Other kids were doing what most kids did. Well, there I was, sitting on the edge of that twin bed, picking till my fingers bled, and it got in my blood. That's not to say I didn't fish or play, goof around and act my age and be home by dawn. But from eight or nine to right here tonight, I pretty much grew up behind this guitar. Behind this guitar, there's just a boy who had a dream in his heart. This guitar is just a guy who can't believe he got this far. Well, I've always said that I've been blessed. Why me is anybody's guess? Well, I don't know. But I'm well aware. Man upstairs could have answered any other's prayers and let mine go. But thanks to him, my family, friends, and those who got me where I am, you know who you are. Now, with that in mind, the truth is I'm not the only one behind. This guitar
uh, the song that I got to play on the Opry for the very first time. Uh, it's kind of funny. Ever since I played it on the Opry, everybody calls it the Cheerio song. And uh, I'll let them call them that. But uh, it's actually called Clean Up on Aisle 5. And it made the first night at the Opry one of the most special nights of my music career so far. But I'd like to play it for you guys. I stopped off at the grocery store To pick up a few things And I was reaching for some Cheerios When I heard someone say my name I knew exactly who it was And my heart started to race I turned around, my legs got weak When I saw her face This to the girl that broke my heart Just a year ago that I was over her But little did I know That running into her like that Would leave me in a total mess Wishing that we'd never said goodbye And if I wasn't standing in that store I saw that smile clean up on our fire. She ran over and hugged my neck. I didn't want her to let go. She smiled and said, I look just like a kid. With my box of Cheerios We laughed and talked about old times Which wasn't all that smart Cause it just left me with an emptiness When she pushed away her And if I wasn't standing in that store, I might have laid right on that floor and cried. I heard that voice, I saw that smile clean upon our fire. She walked away. Back in smile, clean up on Tell you what, was that Chick Fil A awesome or what? <laughs> I could have that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> uh, any Merle Haggard fans out there? Should be holding you tonight. I'm not gonna do that one. That's that's a good Merle song, though. It's one of the best. No, I, I got to meet Merle for the first time, 2-4-2013 2 at 4.45, time and date. <laughs> but who's keeping score? <laughs> no, I'm a huge Merle Haggard fan, and I had a buddy of mine call, and he said, hey, come down here to North Star Studio. 
feel like I'm, on, I'm being watched. <laughs> no, he says, come on down to North Star Studios. I got a friend that I want you to meet. His name's Merle Haggard. I said, I'll be right there. <laughs> And uh, so I, drove, I had to do, run some errands, and I went down and, and walked in the back door of North Star Studios, snuck in, and Merle Haggard was standing there. And my buddy said, hey, Merle, I want you to come up and meet this kid. His name's Mo. And Merle walked up to me and said something I'll never forget. He uh, walked up and shook my hand, and he said, pleasure to meet you, Mo." And that was it. <laughs> he turned around and walked away. <laughs> Strolled down to the stage. Anyways, uh, I tell people uh, there ain't very many people on this earth, hardly any, that, that caused me to quake. I tell people that I talk to God at night, and you don't get much higher than that. Um, but when it comes to men that I've met... Um, when you meet Merle Haggard, <laughs> something happens <laughs> internally. It's like you get one of those feelings like, holy crap. <laughs> How was Merle freaking Haggard? Holy cow. <laughs> so with that feeling I'd never felt before, I, I went with a, with a buddy and, and I had a dumb idea for a song that ended up making the record and it'll be on the record when it comes out. And it's a silly song, but it's a true song. Actually, every word in this song is true. It's my day, 2-4, 2013. It's called I Met Merle Haggard Today. <laughs> Spent the morning pouring concrete Had a good hot plate of chicken for lunch the tank cause it was empty and had a few errands to run and I know what you're thinking that sounds a little bit mundane but just wait I met Merle Haggard today but he called and said, hey, Haggard's in town to tape the Marty Stewart show. So meet me at the back door down at North Star Studio. 2-4-2013, 4-45, time and date. I met Merle Haggard today. Oh, what was I thinking? Should have took a picture with my phone. Or at least record him saying, Pleasure to meet you more. But it was over in a second Then he strolled down to the stage But it's okay Cause I met Merle Hagger today Least I can see I met Merle Haggard today. Any old time country music fans here at all? I don't have a ton of time tonight, and I normally would take more than I, I do, and I'm going to pick my favorite one, and I hope I can kind of hear them, but any old-time country things that you guys like as a request that you know of, any songs? 
George Jones. I don't know if I can remember that one at all. Uh, Keith Whitley. What, what's it, what Keith Whitley song you want? All right, I can do that. I like that song. I don't think I can remember the chords that I love. This is one of my favorite Keith Whitley songs. Uh, this is in Miami, Miami, but uh, I like singing this one better because I haven't sang it as much. Would you like to hear I love you all the time? If you couldn't turn around without us touching, would you mind? You know there's something missing around your waist. Now tell me. With these arms be in your way Would you mind another heart beating for you Two ears and listen can talk to kisses filled with feeling on your face now tell me would these arms be in your way These arms be in your way. Uh, let me think here. Let me think. Yeah, I think I might do one of those. I know I said I was going to play this second to last, but but I think I'm going to play it now. Just so you know. All right, gotcha. <laughs> he wanted to record this with his special camera, he said. So. Uh, this is, uh, I just didn't, I, I got to lighten up a little bit in here. Um, this is my single that's out on radio right now. Um, I got to write this song with Don Sampson, who actually wrote the very first song I sung about behind this guitar. And uh, it was... Well, all right. <laughs> this is the cute song. It's called Boy and a Girl Thing. He's gross. She's got cooties. That's just how it's supposed to be. He hates dumb tea parties And she won't climb a tree It's a boy and a girl thing A girl and a boy thing But she'll stop wearing pigtails And get the braces off her teeth He'll stop making faces And start saving her a seat It's a boy and a girl thing a girl and a boy thing She'll start wearing makeup And he'll start noticing the curve They'll get a little nervous When she's with him and he's with her Gonna 
kiss me Wonder if she wants me to Awkwardly embarrassed Not sure what to do It's a boy and a girl thing A girl and a boy thing They'll throw around I love you Start making plans to say I do Start a brand new life together And probably have some babies too They'll fight and act like children But make up like they're 17 And even when they're 80 it's still gonna be a boy and a girl thing A girl and a boy thing A girl and a boy thing A boy and a girl thing I just recorded my favorite track on my album two weeks ago. And uh, there's a couple reasons why it's my favorite. And one reason is it's a live track where we just sat with me playing guitar and singing, a cello player, a piano player, and my brother and sister. My brother was playing stand-up bass and singing with me. My sister was singing with me as well. And we just kind of got a live track in the studio of a gospel song, one of my favorite gospel songs. And uh, I haven't played this out a ton, uh, but this is going to be the last song on the record. Uh, I tell people that music is a part of my life. And uh, God and Jesus is my life. Uh, I want to tell... Everybody in here, young and old, there's nothing cooler than following Jesus. Yeah. 
Thank you guys for being so kind to me i tell people you you really can't have a good show without a great audience um and you guys have been that tonight in the station thank you guys so much for having me and for playing my record you guys are awesome and uh well i love you guys thank you guys so much i'm i'm blessed and thank you <laughs> I got one more song to play you, and I got to write this song with Bobby Tomberlin and Whispering Bill Anderson, if you guys know who that is. <clears throat> this was my introduction to uh, country music radio, and this is my first single. It's a song for you country people. <laughs> you guys are country people, right? <laughs> it's a song called Country. <laughs> Have you ever picked guitar on your front porch in the morning as the sun was rising? Or followed your dog down to the river and ran into an old baptizing? Think to pull off on the side of the road And that big black hearse is passing Have you ever helped someone in need Without them even asking We do that in the country Let me tell you about country Country can be in the middle of the city. Country can be on a farm. Country ain't even a place on the map. It's a place in your heart. Would you ever hitch a ride to Music City just to see an Opry show? Would you drive across the country? Just to listen to some country music. Country can be in the middle of the city. Country can be in a barn. Country on the map It's a place in your heart Have you ever been there at the courthouse square for the parade on the 4th of July With a tear on your face and a lump in your throat as you watch your glory go by Or sat through a service where they played taps 
For a soldier who never came home Or looked in the sad brown eyes of his mama As she touched his name on that stone He fought for his country And died for his country Yeah, I love my country let me tell you about country. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. Have a great night. Thank you. Let's hear it from Mo Pitney. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Hey, if you're here in our studio audience, make sure to hang around for autographs after the show and to pick up the latest CDs from all the artists. And thank you so much for supporting the Chick-fil-A Barn Bash. Don't miss our next show, Saturday, February 13th. Details at thefarmradio.com. You've been listening to the Chick-fil-A Barn Bash, live from the Big Red Barn in Carroll County, Tennessee. Tonight's show has been brought to you in part by Marisons, Boyd's, Street Dynamics, Cashmaster, Best One Tire, Williams Furniture, Moon's Jewelry, iMart 108, Huck's, Bronner's Food Outlet, and by Me Pueblito Mexican Restaurant. Please remember, any rebroadcast of the Chick-fil-A Barn Bash is strictly prohibited. For details on our next show, please visit thefarmradio.com. From all of us to all of you... Thanks for listening to 100.9 The Farm.